Right, hi guys and girls, this is a talk about the future of the project and I'm joined with Colton. Yeah, my name is Colton. Weird up. Right. But I know this is uploaded on a Tuesday because it's just a talk. As you can see on the screen at the moment, it's just my desktop. It's untidy, I know that, but we're not actually going to be doing the usual Monday videos this time, such as the tours or in-game features and such. But we're going to talk about four topics which should hopefully help you understand the future of the project. So I'm just going to do some random stuff on here along with explaining it, but it will be related to the project and such. Okay, so the first change is the let's play on the dragons no what am I saying um, the yeah just the let's play I was getting tongue tied then getting a step ahead of myself right but we're going to change the let's play to a how to word it in another way to a quest preview I'll show you the evidence why because we're trying to make our videos much more quality at the moment. You see we've got the scheduled uploads which we've been doing at the moment along with the new sweet air weekends one, not just Sunday. And you shouldn't probably see these private videos very well, but let me try to find it. Let's say Dragon Slayer Part two. It was uploaded five days ago. It has 32 views and 2 likes. So let me just pause this video so it doesn't overlap. So we're going to scroll down and go on to the stats. And it's been viewed 27 times <coughs> by random people because some people could click the video twice, which counts as 2 videos. Yeah, not videos, 2 views. So 27 people on their own single uniquely have watched the video and in total of that of those 27 views the video the video's only been watched 15 minutes long so let's say I don't have a calculator with me oh yeah here it says it says the average view duration of somebody watching the video is 34 seconds. Maybe somebody's watched it all and people just skip some bits. I know I would. So that's the first reason why we're changing the quest let's plays. So now we're just going to do previews which shows which quests are in game. Sometimes it will be one since we're not actually doing the entire gameplay of the quest because Dragon Slayer took us three hours to complete and it's just going to get too boring to watch after too many less plays of quests because you're going to see some quests which are just going to be boring because it may be a boring quest to you so on Wednesdays now we're going to be uploading quest previews this week it's only going to be one for now because the change has just happened and quests have actually took longer because Dragon Slayer took us around two months to no one month to make and took three hours to complete it so now we're going to be spending something like probably a week on making a quest and then actually it will be a lot shorter now because we've got quite a lot of areas in the game now and items and such so it will probably take about two days to make a quest probably a small one like vampire slayer or something and oh, did you record uh, the new request that I had suggested is that a recorded that's going to be gonna... part yeah, of the preview oh cool alright just making sure. Yeah, it, that'll be our first pre yeah, preview for Wednesday. But after that, I can spend 
much short time on making the quests but still making them quality and probably have two quest previews or three on a Wednesday instead of just one one minute video on a Wednesday so that's our first change and our next one is the playlist so as you saw on our channel our videos are sort of all mixed up we're still working on the thumbnails to try and make it more attractive and so we can put attractive women or men for the city viewers you know yeah. put like hot chick plays runescape or something <laughs> yeah, totally just misleading us two talking <laughs> <laughs> yes so i'm gonna view this as public just to see I'll just to tell you what it will look like for you. So, this is what you guys will see. Let me just pause the Dragon Slayer release preview. Oh, it was two months of work, not one. Okay, so the playlist, to see down, if you just scroll down a bit, you can see the entire, all of our videos, including, which I haven't added yet, it'll be the Enter the Wilderness Weekend. So if you just like tours and you know, don't want to watch creations or the previews or old Let's Plays of quests, you can just go on to the Monday Misc and see a wide range of tours of our project. So Colton, I'm going to let you talk about the next discussion or topic. All right. So, what we have been uh, talking about is starting a Kickstarter for the project. Um, now, the problem that we have is the rights to the Neverwinter Nights 2 um, Obsidian Game Engine. And so I contacted, um, I contacted Obsidian to ask them if we could use uh, the game for the rights and everything for Kickstarter. And they actually do not have the power to uh, authorize that, and they referred me to Atari. So currently, I have sent uh, a corporate email to Atari and a, uh, a Facebook message, because who doesn't check their Facebook? And hopefully they will respond um, and allow us to use the rights for the game engine publicly. Um, so we can uh, get better hardware and software. Um, now, what would really help is if um, you guys, our viewers, would uh, you know spread the channel, um, let everyone like know about it, so it's uh, more public. Because currently we have 600 subscribers. Is that right, Aaron? Um, yeah, you can say that. Uh... Yeah, around 600. And um, to get noticed more, we would need around like 3 or 4K. And I know there's hundreds of thousands of people that watch uh, these game dev stuff in the, uh, you know, RuneScape videos. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we can get more subscribers. Uh, uh, in the near future, maybe in about two weeks or so, uh, we would like to start a Facebook page, but we would need uh, lots of likes and uh, subscribers and supporters um, so that it would be noticed. And uh, I would pay for the uh, the ads to appear on um, people's walls, stuff like that. Um, but yes, that is what I have to say. Yep, so with the Facebook Social media is probably one of the best ways now to get a, a channel or project or whatever you'd want to call it more noticed because it's just how the internet is nowadays. So like the RuneScape community isn't at its best population. Though some of the top YouTubers have like 20k subs and that's just from doing IRS related stuff but it's taken them years some have like 100k or 200k and such but like in the previous video on what is the building RuneScape project our 
project is actually non-profitable. People have donated in the past, as you can see on my screen, we have a donators room. And we only had one donator at the moment, and this is his call now. As since we are going to say, oh, he gave us, well, he did actually give us $10, which is very useful. And comment man363 just gave it on his own will. We never asked for it, he just contacted us saying, hey, I'd like to donate. I just gave him the details, and he just did it. So, in a thank you way, but rather just saying thank you, we added this room, which is the donator's room. Only one statue at the moment, and just a pile of gold, just to know. So, as Colton did say, we would like to start a Kickstarter, and a Kickstarter is a website, I'm sure most of you know, it's the public, oh yeah, it's just mostly the public, where they help donate their own cash to a project, either starting a new game, or just the usual stuff, so let me just get the website up. And since uh, the game is non-profitable, uh, we wouldn't need a whole lot of cash, but uh, some uh, uh, software and hard hardware upgrades would be 100% um, necessary. As you can tell from our uh, dire uh, webcams and mics and such, yeah. that uh, we are in need of better hardware. And that would definitely speed up the uh, game. And uh, if Atari gives us the rights to the game, then we would basically... Uh, let it out there on free as a free to play game so hopefully that pulls through um, yep. so yeah those are our overall intentions they might change but um we will always back you guys up steel armor in the um, runescape after the armor updates so that's the steel armor and if we zoom onto the steel armor we have in game at the moment it looks no different well looks nothing like that one the shields are all the same if I just tool set is lagging and it's not responding as typical because that tool set is so huge as you can see let me just go back a second. The video I sent to Chris Archie, I had when I was building the just to show and answer a lot of people's questions on what the project is and what I used to build it with. I was building the entrance to the God Wars dungeon. On the side of my areas here, it only showed about 12 areas, and now, as you can see, after that video sent, me and Colton, we've worked a lot hard in our own time to build uh, um, nearly 100 areas in total. 